Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am going to try to stick to just this coordinated pack for this week's layout. I really want some bright, fun colors, so I thought this one would be perfect. And we're gonna use a mix of stickers, sticky notes, and one of these little cards at the bottom. So I'm gonna quick flip through here and just kind of get a feel for what stickers I have left. But first I have these sticky notes from the Wellness Healthy Hero line. And I'm gonna put one of these on every single day. I decided for this week I wanted to create a seven day wellness, kind of just stress relief, something fun to do every day. So the very right corner of each day is going to be more wellness related. Next up, I'm gonna start off Monday by adding a quote sticker. I love these coordinated packs because I never really think to use sticky notes in my layouts. I use them on my monthlies just to write down plans that may change, but I never really think to use them in my weekly layouts. And this is the second week in a row that I've been using sticky notes and I have a feeling this year, at least for the first couple months, sticky notes might be one of my go-to things that I never used to use. Let me know in the comments down below, is there something that you have that's planner related that you just never think to use? For me, it's sticky notes. And then I'm gonna use these asterisk stickers and one on each day. And each day I'm gonna write down a fun wellness activity to do, which I will share towards the end of this layout. I will write it all out for you so you can kind of see what it looks like at the end. I'm gonna add this weekend plans sticker. And because I want this week to be more of a relaxing, less stress week, there's gonna be a lot of bright colors and also fun quote stickers. So because the right hand side is my wellness challenge, I'm gonna keep the middle a little bit more quote inspirational. And then the very left is going to be my daily to-do list. And now it is time to bring out something that I used to use every single week and then I switched to a horizontal planner and I really haven't used my checklist stencil at all anymore. I still love this thing. I still think it is a great planning tool. I mean, I could just draw these boxes in with my mild liner without the stencil, but where's the fun in that? I love my stencil. I haven't used it in a while, so I'm gonna use that on Monday through Friday. And then I'm gonna add some more quotes to the right-hand page down the middle. So these are really gonna separate my actual daily to-dos from my wellness challenge for the week. And then in the notes section, I'm gonna have a place to write just general notes and then a don't forget section with my top three things that I would like to get done this week, but it doesn't necessarily matter what day. I really want to put this somewhere because I love the colors, but where? So I'm gonna stick it right here on Saturday. I feel like this is such a different layout for me, yet it still stays true to how I generally plan. I haven't used this many stickers in so long and this is so fun. I love doing this just every so often. Just really go heavy on the stickers and, but still make it functional because a planner, you have to plan. So I love switching things up, keeping it minimal, going way over the top. And this is just one of those weeks where I feel the need to go over the top. So I'm gonna add a couple of these just little circle quote stickers. This one on Sunday is driving me nuts, so I am going to peel that up and just not use that there. 
going to add this today box onto Sunday because I have a lot of to-dos on Monday through Friday with my checklist. I want to keep the weekend mainly just kind of go with the flow. So instead of doing to-do flags, I'm going to use today. So I'm kind of liking how this is turning out. It's kind of like the group of three that you see very often. I have my functional to-dos, my inspiration, and then my wellness challenge. So now I'm gonna start filling that in and I'm gonna start, I can't really figure out exactly what I wanna do on Monday. So Tuesday I'm gonna write down that I'm gonna watch a funny movie. And then Monday we might as well kick off the week right and get eight hours of sleep. Wednesday is going to be a day where I'm gonna try to do zero complaining. Thursday, I'm going to try to unplug a little bit after work more than I usually do and just try not to go online at all after 7 o'clock. Friday, I haven't been reading a whole lot, so I'm going to write down, read a book, and do a face mask because that just sounds like the perfect way to end the week. Saturday, I want to get up when I wake up. I usually wake up pretty early, but then I just lay in bed for like an hour or two scrolling through social media on my phone. And Sunday, I'm just gonna write prepare for next week. So that's like getting my work bag ready and my planner ready for the next week. So now it's time to add one of these little pocket cards and the back is actually blank. So I just scrolled through Pinterest until I found a quote that I really liked. So I'm gonna write that on the back. And I usually try to emphasize when I write a quote, a word or two, and I start with the word that I'm gonna emphasize and then I fill in the rest of the quote around that word, just so that I make sure I have things even and well spaced out. So even though I kind of have a lot going on in this week in terms of I have checklists on every single day, I really loved this quote by Rachel Hollis that says, turns out the most beautiful things in my life were never on my to-do list, which I think is just a great thing to remember in general. So that is my weekly layout. So hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this kind of mash of a ton of stickers all over. And be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of my planner videos. And I will talk to you guys all in my next one. Bye guys!